even with the so-called um, independent media and the so-called awakened community, um, what do you what do you see the current state of this this so-called awakening, Mark? Uh, what awakening? <laughs> there is there is no awakening happening. First, even, people who are aware of the symptoms, and that's not an awakening. Exactly. That might be the first stage of it, but you're, that, that, that's almost like just starting to be aware that you're sick. That's what I've been saying as well. You know, a lot of the things that people are addressing as problems, they're not. They're symptoms of systemic corruption. You've got to look at why the systemic corruption exists. It exists because we allow it to exist, because we don't operate within our moral compass. And mostly because we are raising children. Adults in the world are raising children with absolutely no moral value system. They're teaching them that the value system of the world is money instead of morals, money instead of right behavior toward other human beings. And as long as money is the measuring stick of a society's success instead of whether the society is moral or not, all you are going to create in that society is chaos, suffering, war, death, and slavery. And that's what we have in the world today. And that's the underlying reason. And the reason I say there's little to no awakening happening is because how many people, when they look at all the problems of the world, understand the causal factors of all of that suffering? Why is it happening? It doesn't matter that someone can recognize that something is happening. And when you understand the causal factors, then you're in a position to not only make the diagnosis about what's wrong, but to treat the problem from the underlying causal factor level of the problem instead of trying to treat the symptoms. And when we do that, what would happen in a society in the aggregate would be to stop doing the behaviors that are wrong. And as a result, here's what you would see. You would see a worldwide mass exodus from all forms of government institutions and all forms of police and military institutions. That's what would happen in an awakening world. An awakening world would be abandoning the systems of domination and control. It would be abandoning the systems that are creating all of the disease, death, and suffering in the world. You would see people walking away from corporate structures that do harm to other people and exploit other people. You would see people walking away from government and any government support, okay, not even working in ancillary positions in government. Okay, to push paperwork for government. The, the people who are collecting taxes would quit their jobs. People who are who join the military would no longer join, or would, if they're involved, they would leave. People in police forces would refuse to follow out the the commands of the politicians who say that they are the law writers and will make laws for people, and they would sl step away from being the enforcers of man's law instead of people who understand and live moral law that is the law of creation and that's what an awakening world would look like i would say that a worldwide awakening is happening when police and military are quitting their jobs in such large overwhelming numbers that it would be the top story on in every mainstream media outlet why is no one joining the police force or the militaries of the world and why are people leaving them and there's hardly any numbers to do these jobs that we would be moving into an anarchic world a world with no masters and no rulers once people start doing that because the order followers who are the strong arm of the self-appointed masters and rulers of this world, if they stopped doing what they're doing and no longer took orders from these people, that's when I would tell you that the world is awakening. Until that behavior is being conducted, I don't want, I really don't even want to listen to anybody telling me that an awakening is taking place because I don't accept it. I don't buy it. I don't accept it. I think people telling people that a big awakening is happening is a pipe dream and it's blowing smoke up their rear end, making them think that the work is done. The work is not only done, it hasn't even begun. It hasn't even started. Just starting to cognize these things intellectually is the very beginning of the process. Whether somebody is doing the great work to try to awaken the planet to that level is how many people are you trying to convince and influence to quit their job in a control position? 
How many police and military members are you talking to to say, stop doing the bidding of these worldwide satanic pedophiles? Quit your cult. Quit your job. It doesn't matter whether you can't feed your family. Quit your job and let your family go hungry. Get another job. Scrape by and scrounge and be poor if you have to. See, that's the difference between me and those people, Max. I don't care if I die penniless, face down, in the gutter, in the street. I'm not cooperating with evil. That's awakened. That's what awakening is. No less than that. It doesn't matter whether I'm dying. It doesn't matter whether you take my life. You're not getting me to cooperate with your sick, twisted, satanic agenda. So I'm not doing that job no matter what happens to me. Torture me. I'm not cooperating. Torture anybody I know. I'm not cooperating. Is that extremist? That's total extremity. And how many people would do that? Oh, no, I have a family to feed. I don't give a damn. How's that? Is that does that sound cold and harsh enough to you? I don't care what you per, your personal agenda is if you are harming other people's rights by what you do. It doesn't matter what your excuse or explanation is. No excuse or explanation should ever be accepted for people who cause harm to other people and think they have a right to do it. And this is the problem, is the good people of the world are too wishy-washy. They don't want to get in anybody's face. They don't want to say it plainly and clearly to other people. I'll say this right to a cop's face. I'll say it right to a judge's face. I'll say it right to a military person's face, and I have. People are too nice to other people and don't want to say, you know what, you're an immoral scumbag. You need to stop what you're doing because what you're doing is wrong. You think it's right and you are wrong. See, there's this whole new age conceptual notion that we have to always say things in flowery, pretty language that sounds like Tinkerbells, you know, because... The, the whole problem is people are so brainwashed, they only want to hear pleasant tones. Tonality means more to them than whether something is true or not, or real or not. That's why they get these paid actors, okay, who go and study NLP and how to say something super pretty to somebody. And they're blowing absolute nonsense up your rear end. And they're conditioning your brain to accept absolute nonsense because they speak in sweet, pleasant tones. And they look nice and slick with their three-piece suit on the evening news, you know. But you know what they're feeding you? Total poison for the mind. But people will accept it because, you know what, they look nice and they said it's so nice to me they must have my interest at heart because they said it's so nice to me you know but the person who's trying to explain to you you know what you're destroying your soul not only are you destroying your soul you're destroying society you're destroying other people's rights while you destroy your own by taking this behavior and because i said it harsh i said it harshly because i'm just a little bit um aggravated that this is what people are choosing to do with the gift of free will that's that's a that's a absolutely non reasonable reaction to see people choosing the greatest gift of creation, free will to choose right over wrong, and what they're doing with it is they're saying I don't want that responsibility. I'd rather ab try to abdicate that to somebody else, even though it's I can't really do that in nature. I can only make the claim I'm abdicating my responsibility to choose right behavior over wrong behavior to someone else. I want to abdicate that to somebody else and you do my thinking for me so that you could tell me what to do and then I'll just blindly behave. I'll just blindly obey. That's really yeah. one of the problems that we've got. We, 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 just, we just do that. We want to be nice all the time. Interesting, when you look up the etymology of the word nice, it actually comes from the Latin not know and ignorant and later it was uh, in old French was uh, stupid. So basically, that's what it's about, is to be foolish, stupid, senseless, and ignorant, careless, clumsy, weak, poor, needy, simple. This is what nice means, and that's, that's our problem, that we're just too nice.